You muted, Dakota. Yeah, you're muted. Classic, dude. Our guy Benatino says, uh, what's up with this tank and Garcia contract situation? I think you know as much as we do, brother. I mean, I think it's unfortunately right now it's kind of typical boxing. Uh, some of the best fighters in the world doing this fucking bullshit. Well, they won't they. I'm at a point where it's just like shit or get off the pot, bro. God damn. <laughs> For real. Yeah, so, no, I feel I feel the same way. Like, if the fight's gonna happen, that's great. But if the fight's not gonna happen, there's enough intriguing matchups in the moving. sport. Mm -hmm, exactly, yeah. there's enough intriguing matchups in the sport that we can we can move on. As much as I want to see all these fights, we don't really need. There's other fights that I'll kind of go on. So I just hate getting into like the contracts and know oh, this person sent this thing, and it's like, bro, at the end of the day, we don't know. Part of boxing. Mm -hmm. And at, the end of the, yeah, and at the end of the day, we're on the outside looking in, so we don't even, as much as we think we know, we will never know the whole story. So that's just how I feel on it, honestly. It would just really be a shame if that was like another fight that a lot of people, boxing people and non-boxing people, are going to be really fucking excited for that fight. And it would be a real shame if boxing like deprived fans of that, because I think that fight specifically could really grow boxing. Yeah, I mean, shit, I think in the U.S. market, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a bigger fight out there. There's way more important sport and fights for the sport and for legacy and stuff like that. But I just think that, you know, obviously even around my age and stuff, like people will know who Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis are. They're not even going to, as much of a better fight legacy-wise, Devin Haney and Lomachenko is, that's not a fight they're going to be tuning into. They're going to know about, they've seen Ryan Garcia's videos. They know Tank Davis hits hard and he comes up under Floyd. So I really do hope they make that fight happen. Because like I said, it just opened up a bunch of other avenues for the sport that we don't have right now with the mainstream coverage and all those things. Yeah, and there's been a lot of uh, like somewhat mainstream coverage with those guys already, you know, talking about, you know, they don't need title bouts. You know, this is even though, well, Tank actually, he takes not going to have a title bout in that fight either, right? It would no. be a non-title. No. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean that's one thing that's been kind of like the lure of this fight is like two young guys whisking it all, whisking their undefeated records, all of that, no title belts, you know, just that's been kind of the lure. And from what you know, Ryan has already said, and even Tank on Twitter, like they've been all vocal about it. And now it's just kind of like hush hush, like you know, maybe we didn't have a fight planned, and you know, let's let's not talk about this again. And so if, if know, Ryan foregoes the tune-up fight, you know, the opportunity to stay busy, stay active, and he's right. fought once in the last two years. Yeah. And the thing I don't like about that is uh, when he initially when he said that, the first thing that came to my mind is the moment that they announced that this fight's going to happen, he's going to say then he needs a tune-up fight um, or something like that in between. I, and I hope that doesn't happen because that's just going to prolong this event even more because it's supposed to be in April. So you know, we'll see what happens with this one. Fingers crossed. We have it every year, though. There's one fight at this point. That's where boxing's at, where there's one fight every year that could actually grow the sport and enhance the sport a lot. And then we ju it just doesn't happen, right? It's uh, it, it's Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. You know, it's Adonis Stevenson and Kovalev. It's Joshua and Wilder. You know, there you could just make an endless list. But it seems like there's, like, one big one annually, and I'm worried that this is going to be that. I hope not, because uh, yeah. one fight that's been kind of uh, getting more attraction lately that I hope gets made is uh, uh, Stephen Fulton and uh, Inouye. That would be amazing. And that one's – nobody really talked about that one fight. You know, I'm a big Stephen Fulton fan. Talked about him a lot in this program. He's great. Um, and, you know, Inouye, who isn't a fan of him? Like, you, you got to really hate boxing to not be a fan of him. Uh, so to see them like really starting to get traction on this fight now, people really talking about it, tweeting, fans saying this is a fight that needs to be made. Hopefully that puts a lot of pressure on the networks and it does get made. Um, the one thing I see is like, where is it going to be? A lot of people saying it, it makes the most sense to be in Japan because that's where the most money is. So I don't know what would happen with that one. Yeah, we shall see. I hope that fight gets made. And even just going back to the Tank and Ryan thing quickly, like, I just don't see the benefit that comes out from Oscar tweeting out at like 2 a.m. on a Saturday that like you have a deadline on Monday, which is a national holiday and that you got to move on. Like, I know he's playing games and we know that that's not. But like, you think that you jerk -off move. yeah, no shit, because you know, <laughs> he's doing things behind the scenes and really trying to get it. But just to see that, it just made me think like, oh, damn, like I don't have as much confidence in this fight. I just feel like something's going to happen. And I hope I'm wrong, but something's going to happen. And those guys are going to fight two different guys coming up. Yeah, 
hopefully hopefully it gets made though hopefully something happens with it because uh with spence and crawford not going through boxing definitely needs uh it's huge super fight um and for i mean you talked about it. i saw the clip that you posted on your story about what you and ryan talked about on uh you know about spence and crawford dakota um like no you know casuals still don't know who they are but you know casuals know who tank and ryan are so that, that's the fight that if we don't get Spencer Crawford, we damn sure need Tank and uh, Ryan. And, but I and I think both kinds of fights are important. I think those fights that go that transcend the the boxing fan base, and then fights that the boxing fan base gets really excited about. Both of those are important. And I think right now we're kind of missing out on all of them almost. Yeah, I agree. You know, we could we don't even get something like a Wilder Joshua. Like that could be something those guys do, and they just make a fuck ton of money, and it doesn't mean as much as it would have four years ago. But they still do it. Like we don't even get those fights. I know. Yeah, I know. Well, I think, um, one, I think one last topic for us to cover real quick.